Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with Born to Compete, the number one source for youth sports. Of course, we're talking high school football, man. I got the guy, Nate Prinzel. I got his name right. You know, I know this is eighth grade. I've never said his last name. It's always been Big Nate for me. What's going on, man? Good, what about you? I'm feeling pretty good, man. So, you know, here's the deal. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> Big time quarterback at Hiram. You know, you did some pretty good things last year. Now you're going into next year. What are we expecting out of Hiram next year? Um, some good things. Mm -hmm. Our offensive line got quicker, yeah. bigger, yeah. running back. He got stronger. Mm -hmm. We had some more receivers coming to the area from the key tree. Mm -hmm. uh, one came from, I think, North Atlanta. Okay. Uh, big. Mm -hmm. I think our smallest receiver right now is like five, seven. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Twins. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, our offense, our defense, special teams, quick, yeah. big. So now for those that don't know, man, this guy here has one of the strongest arms in the country. And I mean, he can absolutely get it done. You tell me about your game, man, for those that haven't seen it. Uh, and, and you from, can run a little bit too. Let me throw that in. <laughs> I know you about to say something, but go ahead though. From, from eighth grade mm -hmm. to sophomore year, mm -hmm. uh, eighth grade year, I like throwing the deep ball. Yeah. I really couldn't hit quick game. Yeah. Ninth grade year, I started hitting quick game. Mm -hmm. Threw the deep ball a little more. Sophomore year, yeah. I that off season I was just working on my quick game. Yeah. Then I just started throwing quick game every game. Mm -hmm. DBs couldn't stop it. Uh, I started working on my speed mm -hmm. in the off season. Got faster. Finally, finally ran four nine. There you go. Finally <laughs> breaking that five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, I know we watched you in a game, I can't remember who it was against, but y'all have one of the best student sections like in the country. <laughs> I, I'm being so serious about it. Y'all got a DJ up there. I didn't know where you got the DJ from, first off. <laughs> you got little Caesars up there, the guy dressed up, walking around in there. What is going on with your student section, man? Uh, our student section, like the year before, my freshman year, it wasn't, it wasn't as lit as it was my sophomore year. Okay. So the booster club just thought it would be good if we got a DJ because mm -hmm. the student section wanted a DJ. Okay. And then it brought more and more people out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was a great fan base. Like, they stayed behind us the whole time. Yeah. Even even uh, fall break. Yeah. When everybody was on vacation. Yeah. I mean, you should have seen it. Like, the crowd was deep. It was yeah. packed. Yeah. Like, I cannot believe. Like, it's... And again, for those that have never been to a, a high school football game, I promise you, if you go to Hiram High School, and Hiram, I know it's out there in the country, <laughs> the sticks, the whole nine, but I promise you, man, the crowd will be jumping lit. Am I getting it right? Yes, sir. I know I'm sounding old now. The crowd will be <laughs> lit. I apologize. All right, man, um, what are you doing? What are you doing to get better, man, the off season, man? I don't uh, know. Are you still working with Ville right now? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're working with Ron Ville. He's obviously one of the better quarterback coaches in the country right now. He has Trevor Lawrence, uh, Max Johnson, a couple of, and Justin Fields, you know, two of the top quarterbacks in the country. Um, what have you been doing with him to get better? Uh, really? We've been, we've been learning how to read coverages, yeah. pick the DB safeties apart, yeah. uh, going through RPOs. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We've been working on hitting spots. So where the receiver is going to be, that's where we that's where he wants me to throw the ball to and get it out in less than three seconds. And working with Ron is like working with Yoda or somebody, man. He does not get excited for nothing. What's up well, with Ron, man? Ron just, yeah, okay, brother. Yeah, brother, that's what you business. do, brother. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that's exactly what Ron does. Okay, um, you know, again, we talked about Hiram and how good they are. We talked about you and, and how you just, your, your ceiling is through the roof and everybody knows that. This summer, man, you know, kind of where do you want to go as far as your business and everything like that? Because now, you know, obviously you, you know, you had to develop, you mm -hmm. had to take care of some things, clean some things up, and now you're like really hitting your stride now. So where are you planning on going to visit this summer? Uh, I had, I had Georgia come to the school. Okay. Told me to come up there and throw. Sanford, mm -hmm. Miami, Ohio, mm -hmm. uh, Troy. Mm -hmm. I'd be like my eight time going there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then probably Florida State in Florida. Okay, yeah, I remember taking you down to Florida State when we were younger. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Now, let me ask you, you know, when you go into these workouts, and, and give me your thoughts here. You know, let's say you go, when you go throw for Georgia, like, what's your thoughts going into that? Because, you know, obviously the pressure's on, you want to do mm. so well, you know, and you got your script there that coach is going to put you through. Kind of what are your thoughts going into that? I mean, I really don't think. I just, I just go out there and play my game. Uh, 
I don't really, like, when we do one-on-one, seven on I don't really try to go for the deep ball to impress anybody. Mm -hmm. It's better if I hit quick game yeah. and show them that I can do that and pick the defense apart. Like, you really like getting after the quick game. So now yeah. you're feeling those slants one two go, mm -hmm. you're feeling those out routes and everything like that. I, I got you, I got you, I totally understand. Now, look, man, everybody knows, you know, kind of what Hiram has done. Is there? You know, and now, you know, people are looking for bigger and better things from you, especially since you are the quarterback. And, you know, fair or not, you know, teams are judged on, or quarterbacks are judged on wins and losses, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, just seeing how, they, how they're in the game. What is the look for next year as far as we we'll hire? You know, what, what are they playing? What are we playing on seeing out of Hiram next year? I say from Hiram mm -hmm. since 2009, last yeah. time we've yeah. been to the playoffs. Yeah. I think I think this year's our year we go deep into the playoffs. Yeah. I believe it, too. Because, you know, one thing we used to see last year, in the first half, you guys were putting a good show. Second mm -hmm. half, you had some adjustments and then didn't get there. So I think the coaches and coach staff and everything cleaned all that up. And so now we're looking for the playoffs. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, let me ask this question then. Let's just say it's, oh, I don't know, fourth down and <laughs> goal from the 15-yard line, state championship is on the line. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going there. What play are we running? And tell me about the play. Uh, we'll probably go with shotgun. Uh-huh. Put uh, Jordan Jones out on the island against the DB. He got it over there. He's good. 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three. He's money. What's, mm. what's the call? 99 fade. What shoulder are we throwing it to? Are we throwing it up high or are we throwing it in the back? Throwing it up high. Well, there it is then, man. Quarterback said he believed in his team, man. That's exactly what we're playing. I've seen out of Hiram this year. Nate Prinzel, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And I'm telling you, when I say his, his ceiling is through the roof, guys, just wait. Are you 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, now? 6'8". Six, 6'8"? Eight. Six, eight? Come on, man. <laughs> he can see over the line and get the job done. <laughs> Any more shots you want to give? Anything like that? Uh, just a shout out to my family for being there for me. That's, that's always a good one. Y'all give a shout out like that all the time. All right, guys, make sure you check out the show, man. Every Friday night, Jeff Hullinger and the crew, Team 1-1. Best sports coverage in high school, basketball, football. If they play badminton, soccer, whatever. If they, man, if they flipping nickels, we're the best in coverage on that, too. As long as they're in high school sports, right? All right, guys, we're out. Take care.